So for uh, engine uh, management on the SLC, I'm running the uh, the GM uh, GM Performance Parts uh, LS7 kit. Um, it's the one that's uh, been recommended by um, uh, Alan and a bunch of other guys use use them on their on their SLCs. Uh, it's a pretty straightforward kit, um, reasonably priced. comes comes with the uh, um, the wiring harness, the um, uh, fuse box, the the computer, um, basically every everything you need. <clears throat> the one of the one of the things that I I would say is uh, um, uh, I've I did a lot of harness modification to it. I have to extend anything at all, uh, but I did have to disassemble a big chunk of it. Um, I guess have to is a strong word, but I chose to <laughs> to make it look uh, as clean as I could and eliminate stuff that I just wasn't using. So there's a bunch of extra wires. Um, I had a literally a five gallon bucket full of, of extra wires um, that uh, uh, you know you either you know, mostly from just shortening uh, harnesses because they give you you know they it's a universal kit so they give you a bunch of extra wires for pretty much everything. Um, so um, so I guess I'll start here with the. Uh, uh, with the ECM, a bunch of different places you can mount this. This is this was just the most convenient place I could I could find. It's still um, reasonably accessible uh, with the body on because you can get you know, if you if you take the oil filter off um, with the body on, you've you've got still a clear shot in here, so you can get to it and remove it if you need to, or take the harnesses off. Um, the uh, this is a GM E67, so it's it's one of their it's uh, one of the newest ones. It's a very powerful ECM. You can do a whole bunch of stuff with this if you're so inclined. Um, so the harness, this is all still factory harness. Um, I'm trying to actually figure out if I can get the uh, uh, the oil oil temperature har um, gauge. Sorry, yeah, uh, oil temperature sensor wired in directly to the ECM, so I can just use uh, OBD2 for uh, uh, for oil temperature. Um, otherwise, uh, worst case, I'll just I'll just uh, take it directly up to the dash. Um, so anyway, the um, uh, harness then runs out of here underneath one of the frame rails. Um, uh, over here, splits off to your your fuse. Um, uh, fuse block here, which I've got um, apart right now since I was doing some work on it. Um, I, I cleaned up a few of the circuits here because uh, because I'm not using them. Um, so the fan control, um, um, you you can run the, the the fan the engine fans through the relay here, but you really do, you don't actually need to. the The output of the ECM is uh, it's just a ground, right? So so when it's grounded, um, it, the, it, it that's when it wants the fans to turn on. So you can actually just um, take that and wire it directly into the um, the infinity box controller so you you eliminate a relay I, i'm all for getting rid of stuff that's that's redundant so it's just directly from the ecm into the infinity box and that controls the fans directly um i do use the uh, the fuel pump output uh, so uh so the fuel pump that's that's that one right there um goes uh up to this uh, dash eight line um again just a little bit oversized um Run runs up along the um, uh, through the same harness that the that the input power comes into actually um, over down into uh, uh, into the fuel pump. So um, <clears throat> excuse me, and again just pulled up any of the fuses that that I I didn't need. Uh, I just I just pulled pulled all those all those things out along with the associated wires. Um, so back out of here, um, it's it goes back over to all the different sense. Um, Sorry, all the different sensors for um, uh, uh, and the fuel injectors, etc. So you know, again, had to had to disassemble the the harness a bit and and kind of you know, shorten stuff and readjust sizes as, as necessary. But uh, I chose to run the harnesses uh, and the engine up up through the V uh, as opposed to on top, just to try to clean it up a little bit. So um, you know, like for the injectors, um, the um, uh, throttle throttle body um, uh, control control right there all the other harnesses or sorry all the other sensors uh, on the front of the block um, temperature sensor the alternator uh, wire uh, cam sensor those all call oh, those all go up through through this harness here or, um, this one and, and that one both inside the V um, let's see for the coils um, again I, I 
I hate the LS coils how, um, mounted on top of the um, valve covers, especially since I, I just like how these things look. So I, I chose to mount those underneath the frame rails um, the, uh, here, just to put them on a little aluminum bracket um, over there. So it's the, the wiring harness didn't need to be uh, lengthened or anything. It actually worked out perfectly, but that way they're nice and hidden, still accessible to work on them, but uh, uh, out of the way. Uh, let's see. Then I have uh, uh, some of the other harnesses here. This this one is for the um, the GM speed sensor. That's optional with uh, uh, with this with this uh, uh, ECU. You don't don't need it for the engine to function. Although it does come in handy for um, like idle control while coasting. It keeps you know, uh, helps the computer keep the thing from dying. Um, but the one thing you do have to do is obviously you have to um, pick up a, the sensor um, and then also um, a reluctor wheel, which you can see it in there. Um, not really. Sorry. No. I promise you it's in there. It, this is just a, um, there's a um, ABS sensor um, right there um, that's mounted to the, um, uh, the CV um, uh, shaft um, assembly. Uh, it's just a press-on press-on fitting that I got from the drive drive shaft uh, uh, company who makes the uh, makes the CV axles. So you just press that guy on there, and you do have to reprogram the the, the computer um, uh, because that's it's it's expecting a lot more pulses uh, than this uh, forty three uh, per revolution. Uh, but so so when I had the um, uh, the ECM reprogrammed, they were able to, um, uh, to calibrate it so it, so it works. So the Speedo, uh, through OBD2 works fine. Uh, I can feed that into my dash or, uh, any loggers. Uh, let's see. Oh, that's just the, uh, the starter harness, which comes out of Infinity Box. So then for, for the computer, let's see, that's pretty much it. Um, the uh, yeah the ignition um, pulse or the ignition signal signal comes out of the infinity box um, so just like a standard uh, SLC setup um, like so really really not much not much to it they make it pretty pretty simple all the complexity was kind of self-imposed because I was trying to clean up the harness as much as I could so one more thing I almost forgot uh, there's one last harness that goes uh, for the um, uh, the pedal and um, the OBD2 uh, port. Um, so uh, what I did was um, split those out of the main harness here. The, um, the silver one is, or the coated one is for the, uh, the pedal. Uh, this other one has the OBD2 uh, harness in there. Those go down uh, along the frame rail up into the, um, the pass-through in the tank in the back and come out right there. Um, along with uh, one of the harnesses for the infinity box, <clears throat> excuse me. So they come up along the center center line there. Um, I did have to extend uh, the OBD2 harness. Um, I've actually got it um, got the port popping out here, which will be uh, covered up by the um, uh, by the center console. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. And then I've got a Y adapter there um, that plugs plugs into that. Uh, one one end of the Y goes to the aim dash. Uh, the other end of the Y goes to <clears throat> um, uh, another uh, another port, and that's uh, just right there underneath the dash. Uh, I've got my HP tuners thing plugged into it right now, but that would just be a, a spare diagnostic port. Um, and then the pedal obviously goes all the way up to the pedal assembly, which you can kind of see over there. So that's the last of it.